Every culture has its own traditions to celebrate important life events. Bar mitzvahs, quinceañeras, baby's first Comic Con. My favorites are funeral and baby shower. They're the only two thrown in your honor you're not expected to attend. Love it. Oh, and after we do gifts, we could take pictures holding Mandy's belly. No. Okay. Here's one. We can fill baby bottles with juice and see who can drink it the fastest. Don't go drinking out of my bottle. Why? Because it ain't gonna be juice. What is this thing anyways? Sunday. Oh, shoot. I got a date with Amber. I gotta cancel. You ain't invited. But I'm the dad. No boys allowed. Southern Living says so. Who is Amber? Oh, girl, I'm saying. Does Mandy know? No, what? Uh, nothing. It was actually her idea. What, Amber? Oh, yeah, I know. She's divorced. What? Don't worry, she ain't old. It's just she got married too young. Okay. Uh, so, Mandy, have you given any thought to which friends or family you want to invite? Well, given the circumstances, I'm thinking maybe we keep it small. Because your friends don't know about this? They don't know about this, they don't know about that, they don't know about any of it. Can I invite your mom? Um... That's a no. Well, we would love to have her, but it's totally up to you. Fine. Great! Is it great? Oh, I thought of another game we could play. First, you melt chocolate in a diaper. Keep thinking. We're coming up with games to play because I have a good one. Intelligent animal technology. For example, if rhinoceroses were intelligent, how would they type? This is for Mandy's baby shower. Oh, I don't want to go to that. <laughs> Thankfully, it's for ladies only. Yeah, even if you're the father. Why do you want to go? Well, I'm going to be at the birth, but I can't go to the party. How do you know she wants you at the birth? Who's going to catch the baby? You may not want to be there. It's a rough one. George. Oh, you're right, dear. It's a beautiful event, which I will never forget. Wait, you said it was beautiful and then made a face to imply that it wasn't. So, which is it? Oh, my God, Sheldon. It's disgusting. Could have just said that. Pretty good game, Sonny, if you want to watch with me instead. All right. You should invite Mandy's dad and brother to join you. It might be awkward. Don't really know them. That's how you get to know them. Yeah, yeah. Wait, I don't have to watch football, do I? No. Please don't. Sweet. Hi, Jim. Hey, Mary. Good to see you. You looking for some tires? Actually, I'm looking for your wife. Oh. You're not going to yell at her again, are you? No, no. Okay, you sure about that? Because uh, I wouldn't mind seeing it. I just wanted to drop off an invitation to Mandy's baby shower. Oh. Well, that's real kind of you. And George is hoping that you'll come over and watch the game with him and Georgie. Huh. Well, that sounds like fun. And your son is welcome, too. All right. Well, you know, Connor ain't all that much into football or baseball <laughs> or shoot anything with a ball, really. Well, if you do come, I know that George is making brisket. Brisket and football. <laughs> well, you drive a hard bargain. <laughs> Hello, Mary. Hi. All right, well, I'm going to go help uh, somebody. I want to apologize for getting off on the wrong foot last time. You mean when you called me a terrible mother? The important thing is you and Mandy are talking again. Mm-hmm. Anyway, I just wanted to drop off this invitation to her uh, baby shower. Thank you for including me. Of course. You'd think her own mother would know she was having a girl. Well, Georgie wants it to be a surprise, so she's barely told anyone. She told you. Barely. Um, you know what'd be great is if you could come and help us plan it. I'd like that. Thank you very much. Then it's settled. All right, please uh, say goodbye to your husband. You can tell him yourself. He's hiding behind that stack of tires. <laughs>